true against certain religions, but the ones that believe they're going to go to heaven and be with a bunch of sexy women, being breasted women, and have sex with them nonstop, uh, is a twisted, perverted, sick idea. And if anybody wants me to accept that, you've got to be kidding. Would I? I'd rather die than try to accept that kind of an idea because it is a lie. And when they get there, they'll find out. There's no hook is waiting for them. No sexy women waiting for them either. It's a mind game to keep people on track of whatever the program is. I mean, Christianity, it wasn't Jesus that made people think that he was God. It was certain people around him. Considering they didn't understand God, how many people today understand God? So to say Jesus was God didn't mean much to them other than he was powerful. He could heal people. That made him a God. Mary Magdalene could heal people. So was she a goddess? Uh, she was stricken out of the Bible. Why is that? We'll go into that. I want to do a workshop on that as well. But it's only for people ready to take a different step in, in religion. Let go of the program and ideas. Face the facts. Face the truth. How do you face it? Look at where we, where we are now. Everything was real and good and important. You would see reflections of it in this world. The presidency, Congress, are they symbols of spiritual growth? Of course not. The word freedom, which kind of came out of the whole constitution and things, where where did it originally come from? Find out. Learn the truth. What they did to the native people stealing that truth. The symbol of the eagle and the arrows in its hand. All native teachings, it's not white man's ideas. But it's the symbol of the United States, isn't it? Why is that? It doesn't mean what the native people are, because it means president, our government, not native government. We we get so far off the deep end with our so-called love ideas, what we think it is, what we desire in our lives, what we have around us, what we need in our lives. But it's time to go a little deeper because you can live life and live poorly, live rich, live any way you want. But it's going to come to an end. And as you get older, and only as you get older do you realize it, time speeds up. You're the turn of you seem like nightmares. So it's as as we age and things become familiar. And and the way to prove that, go to a, go to a, a amusement park. Look where the most wild ride is, whether it's a cyclone or a roller coaster or something like that. All right, get prepared to go on it ten times. All right, the first time you go on it. You're going to get these incredible thrills and all this stuff. The second time you go on it, they're there and you still have them. The third time, they're starting to diminish. It's over before it starts. Because you get familiar with something, it doesn't become real, real enough to be that important anymore. When you drive a road every day, it just it's second nature. The first time you drive it, oh, i got to go this way, i got to go that way, i got to go that way. And it just becomes less and less more important. Well, same with your body and aging. As you get older, all those desires you, you cherish, you, you tried to help them grow, tried to bring them into your reality. Where are they? Did you attain it? I'm lucky in one way. The things I wanted to do, uh, I attained. Not all of them, but I attained. The most important thing in my life when I was younger was to work for the phone company. And I worked for the phone company. I wanted to be a black belt teacher. Made it to brown belt. And I had a problem with my hip. And my teacher wouldn't give me a black belt because I couldn't do a high enough side kick. Uh, I did magic for, for 25 years. And then I was in a religion that said you can't do it. And, and make it part of your own religion. And I said, well, I gave it up. I was in gymnastics when I was little, and I 
into going to dancing. Uh, the, the teacher pushed me down, and I did something to my hip, and I was never ever able to move it the same way. So all my martial art things and, and dancing, all that were taken away. They didn't even have a chance to become reality. Where did I go from there? Just going back to trying to have a normal relationship. And that was taken away. So when we create an idea and we think it's right, you might even have it for a while. But when it's taken away, you have nothing. Well, that's what you believe. And then you got to create another scenario, what, what you're going to try to bring into your life. But when you get older, this is the, the most important part of what I'm going to say. As you start getting a little older, there's nothing to fill it. That's where drinking comes in. That's where drugs come in. And now a person starts doing those things to live in life. Not to be happy in life, even though when you're drunk or on high, you're happy for a while. But you come down and you're back on planet Earth in the real world, dealing with the same situation, paying your bills. Now what? Do more drugs? No. The biggest thing that came uh, more of a reality over the past 10 years, I call them cheap thrills. Anything where there's a chance to die. And uh, mountain climbing is one of the easiest ways to die if you screw up. I mean, hang gliding, pole, all these kind of jumps and, and all these other things we're doing. I mean, the cords break a lot now. and Different things happen. Uh... It's just to get the close, cheap thrill of almost dying, being scared out of your body. And there's a reason for that. And I said it, I say it every once in a while, and I remind people, what we do when we're a young child, and we put our arms out in a circle as we spin around, we put them out to our side and, and do a circle. And we spin around until we fall down. And we do it. Well, we're getting dizzy, nauseous, and we keep doing it. Why? Why do you think? Most people don't even understand that. And, and I'll say, think about it. You're a little child. You're spinning around. You're getting dizzy. You go on the merry ground, spin around, you get dizzy. Why do you do it? Uh, I'll give you the simple reasoning behind it. Because so, what you are, meaning your true self, doesn't like to be in an environment when it's out of control. When you have an action, a lot of times, soul standing right above the body. Not inside the body. And soul can perceive that before it happens. And most, most of the time it does. But you're not aware of that. And when the body goes into coma and things like that, uh, when you come back some people do have that awareness and it becomes a really important thing in their life. If they can remember that happening, which doesn't happen all the time. When we talk about little children spinning around, getting busy, falling down. Souls watching the body fall because it can't stop it. So the idea of soul protecting us, we are soul, but we don't protect ourselves half as much or even a tenth as much as we could because soul sees beyond what we see with our normal eyes. If we're traveling on a road, it sees cars coming. It says, beware. The mind says, well, I don't have to beware. I'm driving fast enough to pass them or I'm doing this or I'm doing that. And the mind always steps in and downplays whatever spirit says. That's the nature of mind and that's called ego. You can listen to people speak about that. Listen to people speak about why this and why that. I'm keeping it to the most simplest level and the truth. Make an exaggerated story behind it. Don't need to. In your own life, you'll see it if you look at it. You might be happy. You might have a good father and mother. They do everything for you. They love you. They help you which way they can. Uh, and you don't know physical problems yourself, you can move right along. I had, I had dyslexia, and I had, I can't even say the four letters, uh, 
where you hyperact, you can't remember, and you keep moving around and all those kind of things. Uh, I have to say, I'd have to look it up. But it's four letters, and I'm sure you know what they're trying to say is ADHD. All right. But even moving forward from there was hard for me. I couldn't learn the alphabet. I didn't learn it until third grade. My father pasted it around the TV set until I could say it. I could watch TV. So I went almost a year and a half without watching TV. But uh, that was only one of my problems. And then all the other things like sexual abuse come in and stuff. It, it slowly wears away at who you are. I'm sorry. I don't know if you could hear me or not, how loud it was. I have nobody in the chat room, so they can't tell me. Uh, I'm going to keep the show short today. But if you tune in, uh, this is only a small part of what I do, what I talk about, what I get into, and why. Well, we each have to fill our own shoes. We have to fill up somebody else's shoes. Parents try to make it go or walk in their path, their, their road. <clears throat> It's usually not the road we need. Soul comes back with a new level of awareness and it needs to fulfill it. But does that happen? Usually not. So, what I'm just going to say today, if I did a workshop right now, I'd make you get involved. Because the mind is very forgetful. And in the average talk, you only remember a few things. If you remember anything at all. Well, he was just talking, I don't know, about stuff. Uh, what stuff? It might not be important to you in a moment. Death. Most people don't want to think about that word. When think about life and living forever, living as long as I can. Please, it doesn't get better after 80 or 90 or 100. It doesn't get better by any 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 movement, any changes, nothing. Nothing gets better. If it did, you would want to stay here at that point. And when you get there, look at your face, your eyes, your teeth, your hair, your skin, your family. When you live long, you see more people you love dying. There's things that people don't look at. The simple things. Why? They want to be programmed. Oh, living long would be great. Then I could get to live on the moon or Mars. I could. Why? Because you don't know. Things you don't know sound better. The old saying, grass is greener on the other side. Jump the fence. Go play in the grass. Is it any different? Of course not. But as long as you're on the other side of it, you'll think it is. So, we each have this game. And like I said, when I do a workshop, when I deal with people, I make them get involved. And I usually tell them to take out a pencil and paper or give it to them. Because writing things down tomorrow, the next day, they'll be there. Your ideas, your thoughts, everything will still be there. But what was I thinking about? Oh, I forgot. And that's the normal one thing. And you don't even have dementia, dementia or Parkinson's. And they're creating that in a great way. More people are getting it, including children. So give me one second. Uh, I'm just going to put something on for a second. So I just do something. I'll be right back. <laughs> 